All right. David Wilson. I think I see a little bit of metal. Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Power Man channel. Uh, don't have much time to lose because I think there's storms are coming. See something. Grab it. Warning. You don't mind if I recycle your metal, do you? Thank you. Is that a smoker? Excellent. Right. It's actually kind of cold out today. Strange. It's a tangled mess. Okay, finally. <laughs> thing is weather beaten. The popo. Okay. One thing I've noticed is that sometimes when neighbors pull stuff out, it reminds other neighbors to take stuff to the curb. <laughs> so this dish network, that's what I think happened here. Who knows? That's my projection. That's my guess. Definitely gonna have to repack this somehow. That's probably gonna have to go up. This guy, yeah, something. All right. Hmm. Think it starts. Oh, no. It is seized up. Did a little bit of repacking. This probably isn't even worth its weight.
not gonna work all right that's good enough for now at least it's not sticking out on the sides start plugging stuff in here <laughs> hey what's going on all right thanks for the metal man yeah you too most excellent I had another guy I, I didn't get on camera but he, uh, he weighs me down he's uh, taking down a gazebo tomorrow uh, or Sunday and um, so I gave him my card yeah, good stuff this actually is an advertisement we got junk hanging out on the truck it's definitely an advertisement at this point, small pieces of metal are welcome. Oh, it's a trap. I'm not a fan of these. I don't think there's anything in there, is there? Nope. Yeah, I'm not a fan of having rodents in my house either. So I'm, I'm not like one side or the other. Just not a big fan of seeing a, a mammal be slowly starved to death that's all I wasn't sure if this was metal but it is yeah it's a metal cooler and there's some metal bits in it where am I gonna fit this but anywhere it's like <laughs> there's a bunch of open space in here a whole bunch of it So I published my video last night. It's actually two or three videos ago because I've gotten like a bunch of footage. But my friend Amy playing the piano and I didn't learn until yesterday that she wrote that song. She wrote that song like years ago and she's just been playing it ever since. And the song has been stuck in my head. Yeah. It's sprinkling. Yeah, it is. Yep, that's good. Hey, what is this? Scrap. That's what that is. Some good scrap, too. car better hurry up people they understand scrap they do and that is good 
So thanks, folks. That's a dangerous pile of scrap there. Is this steel? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Quite sure what it was. <laughs> this is a mess. This is kind of cool. Seriously. I like it. I don't know why. But I do's. I'll tie that down once I finish this neighborhood. my gloves. There we go. It's hard to be a dumpster diving germaphobe. Just saying. The struggle is real. sitting here going through uh, the message. I have like uh, over a hundred comments on my last video. So it, it just takes a while to read and stuff. Um, so it's nine o'clock in the morning and someone said, oh no, um, no scrapper coffee. Uh, glad you, you're back. And you know what? I replied, I said, I'm going to go get some scrapper coffee right now. I just filled my truck full of scrap. Yeah. So let's go get some scrapper coffee. Definitely. It's garbage day in this little neighborhood too in Sycamore. Hmm. I might want to swing through there before I go hit the Sycamore scrapyard and get that scrapper coffee. That's right. And I'm also gonna pray before that too. God, you are awesome, you are good. Thank you for just making everything happen just the way you want. And even though God I get frustrated because things aren't going my way. I just wait a week or two and then I just kind of see what you're up to and it blows my mind, God. Thank you, Lord. In the name of your son you sent, amen. What is this? There's some brass pieces to it. microwave gonna go once I pick it up. Like right there. 
That's not light. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't want this. Or this. Remember the Maytag repairman? <laughs> he was all bored, flipping through magazines. <coughs> oh, small truck problems. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna guess 4,000 pounds even. Let's see. 4,080. I think I'm going to yield to the front end loader. Not sure what he's up to. Oh, he's moving scrap. Right. Oh, he's dropping off his bucket.
3700. It'd be nice to have 3780. Yeah, it's 3720. Cool. So 300 something pounds. Yeah, that works. What are the chances of there being no scrapper coffee? Hey! Morning! What's up, Francisco? How are you doing today? I see coffee! Yes. Oh, I'm 1066, the number. Alright. Hey, uh. What's up? I see you pull up. You don't have coffee? <laughs> 1062, right? Yeah, 1066. 1066. Yeah. Um, did you make it just now for me? I see you, and I was like, oh, my God. That's how I told you I forgot to make coffee. And I forgot to make coffee, too. Wow. So. <laughs> okay. It's all right. It's literally just right. <laughs> Dude, you are awesome. You're all about people, you know? Oh, you gotta be, man. This is a people business, you know? Dude, people don't realize it. Oh, Scrap God. is about people. Yep. You know what? Uh, um, we have, we have, before this place, we have other, uh, other businesses, right? I'm, I'm recording, by the way. Okay, cool. Okay. No, so besides this, besides this place, we have other places, other locations, but we do more auto service, right? Okay, all right. So we've been doing with customers for a long time, you know? And we've always known that that's key. Okay, so you have, um, so this isn't your only place of business? Right. Okay, cool. Thanks God for scrapper coffee. And I don't mean that to be irreverent, I mean that to be thankful. Mm. I am not kidding. This coffee, there's something about it. I don't know what it is. It's just amazing. The best cup of coffee. Now, so I was watching, do you guys watch the Frugal Mama? It's a uh, um, dumpsters decor and more. Um, Frugal Family Dumpster Decor and More channel. Uh, I was watching her live stream yesterday, and she does amazing uh, eBay stuff. She has so much knowledge in uh, dumpster diving. I mean, just such an underrated channel. Um, true wise woman. And she was talking yesterday in her live stream, and I, I'm not sure how the topic came up, but she was saying, what if everyone, for a period of time, um, had to handle their own trash that uh, that they couldn't get rid of anything let's and and I'm just making up a time frame let's say a month or a year where you couldn't throw away anything there's no trash guy there's no um, recycled person coming and taking your bin that you had to uh, store and deal with all of your own trash every single bit of it what a mental exercise that was. It was to think, would I have the styrofoam cup? Would I have the paper? Would I, um, you know, just the, the Diet Cokes that I get from McDonald's, you know? I mean, that's just, what if I had to deal with everything? Would my behavior change? There's no doubt it would. You couldn't burn anything. You couldn't bury the stuff. You had to hang on to it. I didn't even go over the numbers. So it was 360 pounds of shred steel for 3.8 cents per pound for $13.50. Yeah. $13.50. Now, hopefully that lawnmower is still over there. Yeah, let's go get that lawnmower. Yay, the lawnmower is still there. That's good. That's real good. I do? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. All right, I got a brake light out. Okay. Yes, that is a crack, isn't it? That's a scratch. Yay! It didn't go away. I got a lot more last night. I didn't get it on camera. So it's a decent one.
Yeah, I'll grab this too. Sure. can keep them bed bugs wonder if there's like a jillion bed bugs in the landfill probably not because I think they need humans to eat is that a bunny rabbit it is what's up bunny rabbit I just now thought of it it's my it's my camera I'm getting wet from the rain not sure if it is or not Have you ever seen the rain? I'm not even sure how that song goes. <laughs> Those are the wrong words. That'd be embarrassing. Hey. There it is. <laughs> really? Okay, if you want to go with me that bad, fine. Just want that thing escaping. What's going on here? Man, I am making a mess. I don't want you though. No. Went out there. <laughs> Man, I'm all full of scrapper coffee and it's raining out. <laughs> it's not very, it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't know, what is that? 15, 14 Celsius? Just enough to where the, the rain um, makes it seem extra chilly. down this way big old pile of copper uh -uh. <laughs> this dumpster area I can just take a look from the top here see if there's any scrap and pallets and just a couple chairs Actually, they look like decent chairs, too. Well, they're all wet now. Okay, no scrap. Man, it's getting colder out. Burr. All right. It's raining, and I am two videos behind in editing. And I got water in my glasses. How does water get behind my glasses? I mean... <laughs> All right, just remember, stay awesome, be awesome, do your thing. Let's make the rest of our lives the best of our lives, irrespective of the events in our lives. Just keep on keeping on. I'll talk to you later. I know I already said goodbye, but there's a dumpster. Let's go take a quick look. Get it. Not that though. Here comes a construction guy too.
This is the Aldi dumpster. The typical Aldi stuff. <laughs> Looks like metal. I'll bet it's aluminum. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> totally aluminum. That's good. 100% aluminum. All right. Maybe aluminum isn't such a overrated metal. All right. I think we're improving our relationship. <laughs> Sometimes these are good little dumpsters. Very wet. This is the area that the skid pirates just dump their stuff or whatever they do with it. Who knows, maybe people stop by and grab odd sized pallets for their personal whatever they do. I see a dumpster. Is that a rusted up dumpster where I can actually see inside of it through the rust holes? It is. I see nothing. It's just cardboard. I'll still clean up. Get some grip. Hmm. Maybe a couple of things. <laughs>